Alright, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to complete the uh, lab for week two. So basically, for the lab week two, um, you need to use some of the hash function in order to find the hash value of different uh, file. That's the hash value technically just have a digital signature of the file, right? Um, so in order to do that, first of all, you need to um, go to the a um, class. Sorry, go to the uh, class uh, website and download the uh, information have been posted over there. Okay, so let me let me show you. Um, what does that mean? Okay. So here the um, so here the class website, right? And the instruction over here. Once you click into the hyperlink over here, you can open the instruction over here. So this one gonna be the instruction, right? Right, very important right here, you need to download the code of Microsoft file, check some integrity verifier. Um, you can either download from the Microsoft uh, Download Center, uh, but for the, for, uh, for the convenience, I already included over here. So when you click on this one, uh, it's going to bring you to the uh, download, and then you should be able to save it to some of the folder uh, on the system, right? So in my case, I create a folder, name the course, and then the uh, subfolder is with you. So when I save it, I have the um, verifier uh, executable file over here, and so the readme uh, file over here, okay? So that's the two file I do download from the hyperlink um, in my uh, previous uh, 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 um, window, right? All right, so the first one gonna be asked you to create, let's see, a create a, uh, a um, so this is a step you just uh, expand, uh, unzip the file, and then you go all the way down here, okay? Um, all the way down here. Okay. Now, you need to try to find the uh, the hash function of this uh, text file over here. So you open the, you can open the for a, a notepad. So you just type in the content of the uh, file. So I already did it over here. So just typing over here the quick brow fox jump over the lazy dog. Right, well, exactly like this. Right. So on the window you can just right click over here, new, and then take document, and from here and there you can just create the um, the the string in, and then you save it with the name the hash test one. Right. So let me let me, let me delete this one. I copy the content here, okay. So let me delete this one. I create a new one for you, okay. All right, so right click, new, test document. I can have a hash, test, one. Okay, so automatically gonna be th uh, uh, the the extension gonna be a uh, text file txt. Okay, double click, and then you type this one in the quick round hook them over the lazy dog. Okay, save it. Now that text have been saved into this uh, text file over here. Now the job gonna be try to find the um the hash the hash uh, value of this uh, file right so in the instructions saying that let me see 
the instruction saying that FCIV uh, dash MD5 dash SHA1 path to hash state one dot THT. Okay, so path to is mean uh, if you from some other location of the folder, you need to point into the right file over here. Otherwise, otherwise it's not running because it doesn't know how to find the file, right? So the easiest way is that to make sure you have the executable FCIV uh, dot e exe uh, you just download it from the class website and this uh, text file right here in the same folder as I have over here okay so both of them will be in the same folder now you can then um, and after that you can just run cmd cmd just open the uh, command from over here and you gotta be located to the folder you store the information over here right so you can use a uh, cd and so for example i can turn this off i have a cmd that can open the form i can uh, um, go to the ice so i know that's gonna be my ice disk and i can go to the cdsu and i go to the cd course content okay ccsc so you can see um, you can type some of the character of this folder and you uh, hit tab that will automatically um, matching that get folder name okay and now inside here i have the way to folder where i store all the information over here right um, the easiest way is that to move into inside this folder so that's going to be week two and now i can see what the information in there i have the icicle fciv uh, dot eic and also the uh, text file right here where i try to uh, find the hash value right so now you can type exactly the uh, instruction have been has been saying right here all right so let's bring this one up over here sorry um, and then the other one will be over here all right oh the one the other one all right so you gotta type fciv instruction I have put it down here so that kind of thing because this one this one gonna be inside the folder so the system gonna be know exactly uh, looking for right it's gonna be F C I V dash M D five dash sharp one and the path to uh, the file name um, this one saying that the path to right um, this one if you not in the same uh, director of the uh, file over here you need to you need to uh, specify the path to it right but now we are inside the folder where the folder has the hashtag uh, has test one dot text file right so we, we don't have to specify the path to it so we just type the file name directly so that's gonna be hash uh, test one dot text again so this one you can uh, type a fit the first few character of the word file and you hit tab that automatically recognize that okay and then you hit enter so the function right here is gonna be execute and um, try to generate the hash value of this text file that gonna indicate in cap a digital signature of the content of the file right here so we have the two kind of hash uh, value right based on the md5 that got hash value over here and based on the sha one got a hash value over here okay I think that that's all. I think the rest gonna be uh, pretty straight uh, forward, the same way we uh, just did.
so the key thing here is that make sure you are um, move to the inside folder uh, where you have both um, executable uh, file over here or uh, the uh, program over here and the uh, file itself within the folder so you don't have to deal with the path to uh, different file uh, where they put into different uh, folder okay so that's will be much uh, make your life much easier all right um so i hope that the short video helped and uh, just let me know if you have any question uh, thank you so much